for everybody. Welcome to the Stray Show. Back to do my top five best movies of 2021. I don't do a top 10. I do a top five because I like to challenge myself when I do these lists. So, yes, it started with number five, and that is Quiet Place 2. We had to wait a whole year to see this movie, and damn, it was worth it. How this movie starts off is way better than how the first one starts off. The first one start off with a bang. This one starts with a bang, bang. And I enjoy this movie. It answers a lot of questions that you had, and you see, see the kids step up and have a, being a hero and having their own moment. I really enjoy that. And saw Quiet Place 2 with just a couple, uh, couple weeks ago, and I still enjoy it. And that's why it's on my number five spot of best movies of this year. Number four, The Suicide Squad. I enjoyed this movie. It was the most funniest movie I've seen in the theater. Made me laugh, enjoy it. Made me care about characters that I never cared about. Like Wack Tatchel, Polter Dot Man, and gave Margot Robbie her best performance as Harley Quinn. I really enjoyed this movie. It was rated R, and finally one of the brothers took a chance in having a big budget superhero movie and took the chance and made it a rated R. And I really enjoyed it. And I was surprised it did not do that well in the box office, but I really enjoyed this movie. It was a fun time. Saw it recently. This is another movie I saw recently. And it was still fun, still enjoyable. And I still love the movie and still enjoy every character that I enjoyed first time. I enjoyed even more the second time I watched it. So number four, The Suicide Squad. Number three, King Richards. That's a enjoyable film that's good for the family. Everybody can enjoy it. And when I saw his movie, seeing, I forgot this was Will Smith because he was so good in the world. I forgot that was him. That's how good he was. And if he don't get nominated for Best Actor, uh, that'd be a wobbly. And don't, I want to get twisted. The kids was great. Everybody did a great performance. John Bone thought, even though his part was very small, he was great to it. Everybody does a great job. If you have not seen Teen Witches, go out and see it. You are not going to be disappointed. That's my number three. My number two, Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm going to talk about some spoilers. I ain't, I ain't no spoiler review, so I'm going to do it here. If you've not seen the movie, just fast forward a little bit. Ah, this movie was great. The fan service, seeing Tom, Andrew, and Toby on swing at the same time, they, they had amazing chemistry. Loved that whole moment. Seeing William Defoe back to Green Down, loved that. Loved it. Love seeing Tom has to be, you know, he has to grow up and make some tough decisions. All that, and the nostalgia, the good fan service, all that made this movie so enjoyable and a must see. And you see it when you look at the box office and they in the movie still making tons and tons of money. And that's my number two, Spider-Man No Way Home. Before we get to my number one, just talk about some audible mentions. Ghostbusters Afterlife, really enjoyed that movie. Just didn't touch the list. Judas and the Black Messiah, very good movie. Just didn't make it. I love Godzilla vs. King Kong. It gave me what I wanted. Just see King Kong, Godzilla fight. Really enjoyed it. Nemo, there's a tough bull, honorable mentions. So yes, get to my number one. And it is Last Night in Soho. I really 
enjoy this movie. I saw it multiple times in theaters. And I know it did not make a lot of money. It flopped in the box office. But I really enjoyed this movie. I love the characters. Edgar Wright, when I found out he was making a horror thriller, I was excited because he has never disappointed me. In this movie, he did not. I enjoyed the mystery. The characters was likable. To see what happened to Ellie and the stuff that she's doing through in the movie. And she's being haunted by these ghosts. To the mystery of what happened to Sandy and Jack. And seeing, seeing it, you thought... You thought the movie was on the one way and it turned out to go another way and the, how the ending was so satisfying and seeing all, seeing what really happened. Boom. I loved it. And can't wait to see this again on 4K because I will be buying it. It is a must buy to me. It's my favorite movie of 2021. I really enjoy it it blew me away it was just something different that was nothing was out at the time when this was coming out and i love it i love edgar wright he just tries something new every time and every time he's on make something i'm there day one doesn't matter if it's uh the theater is packed or there's a little bit or there's a not a lot of people there or i'm the only one there but i'll be your day one for any of his movies so that is my number one. So tell me what your favorite movies of this year was. Tell me movies that you were excited for next year. And I'll see you next year with more movie review. Peace and have a happily new year. Peace.